Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. Yes, this is the third time I have done this. Last time I've uh, done this was about like six months ago, but the only reason I'm doing this again is because I found a um, different version of 95. The previous two videos I did was with the OSR 2.5. This one's with the OSR 2. Point oh, so um, and this one doesn't have like all those errors that pop up with the uh, startup of Windows 95 like my other one did, and this one actually works a lot better. I didn't really have any install problems with this, so um, yeah, I know I've done this. This is the third time I've done how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox, um, and I will be using MS DOS 6.22 for the. Um, a version of MS DOS before this. I'm not going to use 7.1. I'm going to use 6.22. So um, I'm going to show you how to create the virtual machine quick, and then I'm going to do uh, the install of MS DOS off uh, the recording. And uh, if you do have not seen my video on how to install MS DOS 6.22, I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, there should also be something that pops up up in the right. So um, maybe I I don't know. I, so uh, Let's go ahead and create the virtual machine first. So let's go ahead and click new in the top left and then type in your virtual machine name. I'm going to have to type in Windows 95. I'll just do YouTube since I already have the name of Windows 95 right here. It will automatically select Windows 95 as your version. Go ahead and click next. Leave this at 64 megabytes of RAM and hit next. And then you're going to create a virtual hard drive. Click create. And then make sure to do VDI. I mean, you can do any of these others, but I just normally just do VirtualBox disk image and click next. I guess you could do VMDK if you're doing, uh, if you want to transfer this virtual hard drive to a VMware or something, but uh, go ahead and click next. Um, leave it on dynamically allocated, click next. And then leave this at two gigs. I mean, you really don't even need more than two gigabytes of hard drive space. Click create. And then here you want to go ahead and um, install MS-DOS by clicking settings and going to your storage and inserting the floppy. So I'm going to go ahead and install MS-DOS real quick and I'll be right back with you guys uh, once it's finished. So here I've just installed MS-DOS 6.22 as well as the CD driver. Do not forget to install the CD driver. Um, so once this is finished I'm going to go ahead and remove the floppy and what you're going to need to do is after you're finished installing MS-DOS Go ahead and uh, power off your virtual machine. I have that full screen. Um, make sure, and then go ahead and click settings. And then go to system. And go to acceleration. And then unchecked enable VTX AMD V. Um, this is going to um, disable that uh, protection error that always comes up uh, after uh, the first or second restart of Windows 95 when you're finishing the setup. So uncheck that, click OK, and then uh, go ahead and uh, reboot into the machine. I'm going to have to change my optical drive. It put in the guest editions thing for some reason. Um, and uh, I already did a video on uh, how to get 256 colors in this. And um, so we're going to remove. And then what you're going to need to do is uh, put in the ISO located in the description. It's going to be called Windows 95B. And the reason why it's called B is because that was the um, second like update type thing of uh, Windows 95 that was out, the 2.0 uh, OSR version. So um, go ahead and insert that. Go ahead and head to your D drive. Or if this up there, I can't really get my mouse. There we go. Uh, if this drive up here doesn't say D, if it says a different letter, you're going to want to use the letter that's located here. Don't use D like I'm doing if yours is different. So go to D colon and then type, um, you can type dir to make sure that that setup.exe is there and just go ahead and type in setup, click enter. Now you're going to go ahead and hit enter to do the uh, Microsoft scan disk. And now it's loading up the Windows 95 setup. So um, the installation is going to be just a tiny bit slower than my past videos because you didn't disable the uh, acceleration um, VTX thing uh, before the install. So uh, this might take a little bit longer than expected from the last couple tutorials. So go ahead and click continue on that welcome screen. And now it's going to go ahead and uh, prepare. 
uh, the Windows 95 setup wizard for to help you guide through the rest of the process. So go ahead and hit yes to accept the license agreement. And then it's going to go ahead and pop up with a new window here. It'll say the Windows 95 setup wizard. Go ahead and hit next to continue the installation. And then make sure this is selected the C Windows directory. Click next. And now it's going to check for installed components here first. And then it's going to check for your available disk space. And you're definitely going to have enough since you have two gigabytes. So here you can uh, you have a couple of options here. You have typical, portable, compact, and custom. You can kind of read the descriptions here. Um, because you know portable is like for laptops, compact, um, trying to save disk space. So I'm just going to do the typical installation. You'll definitely have enough room to do the typical installation. Click next, and then here you're going to go ahead and enter in the uh, product key. Um, so I'll leave that with uh, the ISO in the description, but um, I'm going to enter that in quick, and I'll be right back with you guys after I enter that in. And so after you get that entered in. You're going to go ahead and type in a name. Just type in anything. I'm just going to type my YouTube channel. It doesn't really matter what you type in here. Click Next. Check both of these boxes, the network adapter and sound card here. Click Next. It's going to do analyzing your computer. And um, so kind of just let this go through here and it will take you to the next prompt. Okay, so that will take longer than the other tutorials. So um, once that's finished loading through, you're going to go ahead and just leave it on install the most common components uh, here, and then go ahead and click Next. And then click No, I do not want to create a startup disk. Go ahead and click Next. And now it's going to start copying the files over onto the virtual hard drive. So this could be a longer process. Um, because of the disabled hardware acceleration. So go ahead and just let this sit through and let it uh, copy over the files. This may take a little bit of time, so just let it be and let it do its thing. And I'll be back with you guys once we hit the restart point. So now it's going to finish com uh, completely copying over the files. And it will say finishing setup and it will say restarting your computer. So go ahead and click uh, finish here and uh, make sure to remove any floppies. But you don't have any floppies in here, so just click OK to restart. And it's going to restart the virtual machine here, and it'll say starting Windows 95. It'll say getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. And notice now it will not come up with that protection error because uh, we have turned off hardware acceleration and that like VTX uh, uncheck there. So it will not come up with that protection error. So now we'll just uh, go ahead and continue with the installation here. It's going to set up your uh, plug and play devices and stuff so uh, I might just do some uh, setting up of things for a little bit so kind of just let this uh, uh, do its thing here and I'll be back with you guys um, in a little bit so it'll come up with a little window here that says you must provide a computer and workgroup names here that will identify this computer so go ahead and click OK on that and then uh, go ahead and type in a computer name I'm just going to type in Windows 95 and then make sure just type in capitalized all caps work group in the work group box and click close. And now it's going to say copying files and it's going to take it right from the Windows 95 CD ROM that is um, in uh, the drive. So uh, it's going to be doing this process for a little while. So just let it sit here for a bit and I'll be back with you guys again. Here we are hitting up with the time zone and date and time properties here. So I'm um, going to load this uh, control panel and programs and all this other stuff up here. Um, just make sure to do your time zone. It doesn't really even matter which time zone you do, but I guess it, you can do whatever you want. Just click close here, and then uh, when it comes to this printer setup, just hit cancel. And now it says Windows 95 setup here. Uh, it's finished configuring your system, and you must restart your computer before the new settings take effect. So click OK to restart your computer now. And it's going to reboot the machine. Here it says Windows 95, Microsoft Internet Explorer. And I think that was one of the things that came with this new uh, update to Windows 95. So just let this kind of boot up here. And then eventually you'll hit the uh, log on screen. And then uh, we'll get to the desktop and you'll be 
in with Windows 95. So sometimes this will take a while for the first time just because of the, yet again, the hardware acceleration is not enabled. So here we go. Just type in your username that you created earlier. I don't even know if you need, yeah, you do. Type in that name you did earlier. Just type in anything and then um, click OK. And we'll see if we have audio. So there's the startup sound, so that means we have audio, and there is the desktop. So here we go, we have successfully installed Windows 95 for my third tutorial. Um, so uh, this was probably the most successful out of the three of them that I've done. So um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I know this is the third time I've done a 95 tutorial, but it's always nice to kind of just do an updated tutorial in case like your past tutorials don't work for everybody. Um, so hopefully this one works for you guys here. Um, so this featured uh, MS-DOS 6.22, make sure to uh, install that first before this and I'll have a link in the description to install MS-DOS. So um, yeah, leave a like on the video if uh, this was a better updated tutorial for you guys and uh, hopefully this works for more people. Please comment your ideas down below on what I should do for more tutorials and other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.